Hey guys, it's Nick, and I got the Barber Pole jersey on today. So, the Blackhawks and all other NHL teams released new jerseys today. 31 new jerseys released for the new um, fourth jersey program, the Reverse Retro Series. So, the Hawks decided to go back in the books to the 1940s to mid-50s. Hence why the barber pole is out. This is my Bill Mozienko jersey. And well, the Hawks, I was hoping would have done more of a reverse of the barber pole, not the white jersey. But they did go with the white jersey. The thing is, they chose 1940. If they went with 1940, there would not be a crest on the front of the jersey. Well, the Hawks decided, okay, was have a crest on the front, meaning the logo on the front. And well, they went with this logo. I'm happy to see this logo. I like this one. So, the, like the 09 Winter Classic jersey, the Barber Poles, they had this logo on this jersey, including the white jersey they started wearing in 1948 to basically 1955. So, it's more of a 19. 48 to 55 era of sweater, but it's in black now. It's cool looking, but they didn't show enough photos. So let's see how it compares to what they wore back in 48 to 55, which is more of a considered a 1940 look. Okay, let's look at the sweaters and the new jersey. Well, the New Jersey is the one on the left. That's the best photo I can get of the jersey. Had to get a screenshot from the video the Blackhawks released. Well, the new sweater or jersey, whatever you want to call it, it's a good look in my opinion. It looks like the 1948 to 1951 sweater, but it also would look like the 19. 51 to 55 sweater as well because it's basically the same sweater just have the crest just a little bit altered the logo they put on the jersey does look like the same logo it is a good crest and honestly i'm happy they went with doing a crest on it instead of just numbers on the front that wouldn't look that nice it's a clean jersey in my opinion Maybe if you would have had maybe a white, like, little line across the bottom hem, it could look a little bit nicer. But as is, it's a clean-looking jersey. I'm happy with it. This, this is a nice look. I like it. It's a lot nicer than some other teams in the Reverse Retro series. I'm happy with it. It's nice. It's clean. It represents the old with a... More of a modern look being in a black jersey. It's a clean fullback, not a real throwback. It's a good look, in my opinion. I like it. It's nice. It fits the right era of jersey of what they were going after. Okay. With how you saw the reverse retro comparing to the like what they wore back in the 40s to 50s, it's a good look, honestly, it is. It's a black version of the white jersey, as I stated, which is a nice look. I kind of wish it was the barber pole, but whatever. It's what is what it is. It's a good jersey, it's clean, and well, you know it, I'm going to be getting one. <laughs> I probably will get Kirby Doc for it because I think that will look good. I think Kirby Doc will look good on that jersey. It's a good look. I'm happy with it. It's clean, simple, and, well, it looks like a throwback, but it's a fullback. It's not a true throwback. I like it. It gives it more heritage, even though it's not technically a heritage jersey. It's a reverse of a, um old sweater, which is okay with me. I'm happy with it. It's clean, simple, and... Honestly, it looks like it has my favorite number kit for jerseys. The old black 
third jersey number kit from basically 96 to basically um, 2009. But who knows? It's a clean jersey. It's honestly a nice throwback to what it's supposed to be, even though it's not a true throwback. I'm happy with it. I do like the Barber Pole era. They look awesome, but the new sweater looks good to what complements what the Hawks wear today. I'm just happy they did put this crest on the front of the jersey. So, down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your thoughts are on the reverse retro jersey. And thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, let's go Hawks!